Good morning. This is Sahib. Today is Saturday, December 8th. And I'm just going to give a brief update on uh, Sahib's aquaponic research farm. Just taking a few shots as a walkthrough on the growth that we have. Here I'm taking a picture of the five media beds that we put over the koi pond and they have bell siphons they're being constantly watered and giving back the water to create oxygen cycle picture of our koi here's another concept that we have just introduced I've been working now for a few months to see how it works basically this is soil in aquaponics here we have specially created soil that we've formulated and mixed together. Here's some papaya, some jarman tree, an anona tree. And we are not watering it from the top. It's basically being watered from the aquaponic water and returning back to the fish tank. So the water is being wicked up. We've also put some hanging baskets a salad in a bowl and they're also over the aquaponic water and the water returns back here we have another wicking concept aquaponic water is given tomato plants are doing pretty well here we have some tomato plants they're in the raft system and they're starting to produce a lot of flowers fruits already setting so hopefully this will give us good tomatoes. Growth is really phenomenal in aquaponics. The nutrient-rich water provides excellent rich growth for us at a much faster space. Here we have some bok choy and pak choy that we're growing along with some kale. I try to plant marigolds every now and then. Helps with the beneficials. A whole bunch of basil and in between we have pots we've started. We feed them both with regular water on occasions as well as the aquaponic water. You can see a variety. I call this my salad garden or variety garden. A lot of growth. Share it with a lot of my friends and those in need. Something that's very easy to do, doing very well. We've got some grouds growing that are starting in the aquaponic system, just trailing them up. Getting good fruit, reasonably good fruit on them. I'm surprised to see fruit already setting on them. Let's see, and then on the other side is my media beds, tomato jungle, as well as the Malabar spinach is doing excellent. Fig tree has taken over. I don't know when I'm going to remove it. It's providing a lot of shade, too much at the moment. But this is December. I'm not supposed to have leaves and figs on a tree. I actually have figs occurring which in December in Florida if you tell me figs as you can see hard to believe let's see so here I've added some more towers and I haven't planted them I'll plant them different types of plants this is phase one Let's walk over to phase two and see how we're doing.